Hello guys, in this video I will show you how to make Cubase a little bit more modular. For my uh, presentation I will use Serum with just a saw wave. Now I want to add a, a plugin that is called Max by MooTools and uh, show you how it works and what it can do. I also will add a MIDI, a MIDI track and route it to Max MIDI in. Then I want to show you a frequency shifter by Malda. And as you can see, it has these knobs which you can rotate. And if you want, you can uh, record some automation and uh, go with it. But uh, I would like to create some some new sound and I want to trigger this thing uh, with uh, my MIDI button. I want this rotary act like an ADSR envelope. So this is currently impossible in Cubase, uh, but with the help of this plugin you can achieve this. I'm using a demo version so you can download it on the, the official website and uh, see if it if it is helpful for you okay so i will add uh, a frequency shifter inside of this tool i click bst i will connect uh, audio signal now i can hear that it it's working Then I need to add uh, a module which is called uh, Parameter Event Generator. I will connect event input to this module, this node, and connect it here. Now in this Parameter Event Generator I can pick which uh, option I want to modulate. I will pick Shift. I will keep value 50% and I will add another module uh, an ADSR env envelope and connect this here and this here and delete this one. Also there is a module which is called uh, modulation monitor. We can see what happens with our signal. Uh, and the last thing, how do we send any events into this plugin? I created this MIDI track and I need to pick Max here in uh, MIDI output and uh, arm for record because it didn't listen to my, to my MIDI controller. I arm for record and now you will see that this monitor shows some action. Yeah, and actually it's working with the shift rotary. Now I can tweak uh, ADSR envelope a little bit. Let's decrease sustain. Let's uh, oh, let's create K in reverse order. We because we have this bipolar uh, button on. And uh, you can create many, many patches based on this idea, including equalizers, distortion. For example, you can put an LFO on this uh, shift button. Let's let's do let's replace frequency shifter with uh, another generic uh, VST G low. I like it because it's very simple and uh, has a good cutoff slope, but it doesn't have any uh, macros or LFO generators where you can modulate something inside of it. So I will connect audio signal and uh, this parameter. I will pick here cutoff value 50. And uh, now instead of ADSR, I will uh, pick LFO. Modulation generator LFO. As you can see, it's very quick and uh, amplitude. We can decrease it and let's hear how it works. Yeah, a lot of uh, sound design 
opportunities uh, you get if you use Max. The only disadvantage is that you don't have uh, Cubase built-in plugins, which is pretty sad fact. Maybe it's another reason to get a few third-party equalizers or distortions. I really like frequency. I would like to put an LFO on some frequency and move it around, but yeah, you cannot do it inside of Max. So I see this as the only disadvantage, but in general, it gives you a lot of sound design opportunities, a lot of modularity inside Cubase, which it lacks, I think. So thanks for attention and see you next time.